Hey guys, how you doing? It's Scott D. Ramwick here for video 86 out of the 90 day video challenge. And today I want to talk about liking people. Why do we like people? Well, very quickly I'm going to tell you why I think we like people. I think we like people because of what we can give them. And I'm not talking about just giving them like you're giving charity. I'm talking about when you are able to give somebody something and it actually makes you feel good. And if we look at when we fall in love, what we experience when we fall in love is our tremendous ability to give someone attention, to give someone support, to make them laugh, to make them smile, to make them feel like they matter, to make them feel like significant, like they're significant, to make them feel like they belong. We are amazing when we fall in love at giving these things in great abundance. And our ability to give those things makes us feel so incredible that we call that falling in love. Now we can also experience that on a much more, on a much lesser level. For instance, with our friends, and I'm sure many of you have terrific friendships. I guarantee, for instance, if you have a best friend or somebody you regard as a really good friend, someone you love to go out with and have a few drinks with, I guarantee you're amazing at making that person laugh. And it's your ability to make them laugh that give them laughter, give them joy, that makes you feel really good when you're in their presence. Just another example of why you like someone based on the fact that you can give them something. So what happens when we don't like somebody? Or to put it more politely, not politely, but to make it more realistic, because saying you don't like somebody is a bit, it's a bit harsh, really. Uh, maybe a bit too severe, but the... When you meet someone who you don't really gel with and you feel that person is of no value to you and you know you, you probably make up all sorts of, of nonsense to kind of fulfill that narrative. It could be like, oh, that person's an Aries and I'm a Capricorn so that can never work out. Or you might say, oh no, they're, they're too, you know, positive. I'm more of a realist. I don't like all that positive airy fairy stuff. Or you, you might say a million different things. Oh, they're too arrogant. Oh, they're too whatever. You know, I, I, I don't respect that. You might say so many things to fulfill your narrative to justify why you don't like that person. Well, you know, you can let that happen. By all means, we all do let that happen. We meet someone, we don't like them. We don't feel invested in them. We don't feel that person is of any value to us. So we kind of like, we don't invest, as I said. So I want to challenge you. The next time you're in a situation like that, use it as a moment to give yourself something. Ask yourself what you can give them in that moment that will make you feel good. So maybe it's something like your time, your attention, your ability to listen, your ability to care. Whatever it is, ask yourself in that situation, what can I give this person right now that will make me feel good? Now, if you do that, what I'm suggesting is that will change the entire dynamic of the situation. And perhaps it may even generate a new connection for you in your life. One that will truly benefit you. Right guys, thanks so much. I'm Scott D. Renwick. That has been video 86. I'll see you tomorrow for video 87. Thank you so much.